Just a note about string functions. There are many different string functions that you can actually work with. I just want to let you know that when you select things and you take a peek at the source code, for example, and we just look around and see some sample code, you can see that when you assign your strings, that's one thing. It looks just like a regular variable. And when you use the string functions, you're just using a function like you would any other function within PHP, but they're specifically geared towards working with strings. There's so many different things that you can use and different functions that you can use. And we're going to see a lot of them. There are quite a few. So you can break up the section as you wish. This is just really an overview just to make sure you understand that this is the case with these particular functions. Now, there are videos just on explaining functions, but it's important to know that a function is really something that you're just going to pass in parameters to, meaning that this is expecting two strings separated by a comma. So normally it's going to be your source and your target string or something like that. You really need to take a look at the structure of what I'm showing you when I explain it and also supplement that with the php.net documentation for PHP. You can download that actually. And then you can see all the different commands and functions and keywords and things like that. And they look a little strange sometimes, but this is something like string compare and it doesn't totally break things out like you might expect, but it is C based. So it's going to be something that's going to help you along if you know a little bit about C, but it's a really documented type of way of working with strings and just a programming language in general. You can see that these are self-explanatory. For example, string to upper and string to lower moves to upper and lower case. In Visual Basic, actually, the names have been traditionally a lot easier, but at the same time, they move away from standards. And if you're working with PHP, maybe you want to use a little bit of C at one point and you don't have to relearn things. It really works that way, so it's helpful. So just go through and see how it works for you. There are plenty, plenty, plenty of functions. I will give you functions that we use here, but then I'll also give you some other tips on what other functions you can use, and I'll give you explanations about as many as I can given the time limit. But string functions are very, very important, very powerful, and I just recommend that you go through each of the videos to see how things work and supplement that information, like I said, with some good documentation.